Hello students, I'm Joy Schwartz with the Cox BBA and MSA Career Center, here to provide you with a brief video tutorial on LinkedIn, a powerful professional networking site. In the video, we will cover how to create a profile and then how to enhance it by writing a powerful headline and experience summary, as well as how to upload your resume and then how to leverage the site to better connect with employers. I wish you the best of luck developing your profile and I hope you'll take advantage of some of the other services our office has to offer. Since you've already created a profile by now, the next step is to go ahead and enhance your profile by uploading a professional photo. So what I recommend first is viewing your profile so you can see what it looks like as is. So here's an example. Um, here's your home screen. The let me show you a few examples of some students with professional photos. We're going to scroll through their profiles and then we'll come back to yours. So one um, MSA student that I've worked with previously, we're going to see if we can look him up in the system. Robert, let's try this. So up oh, there he is. Okay, so here's a good example. And we'll use Robert's as our sample profile. Hopefully we'll be able to see We'll be, we are actually able to see the majority of his profile, and this is mostly what we want. So you can see that his profile probably would be better if he were smiling a little bit more, um, but I think this is just fine. Um, hair looks good. He has a suit on. For ladies, I think anything business casual or business professional is just fine. So let's go back to your profile, and then um, I'll show you just very briefly how to upload the, the photo. So I went into the edit profile mode and all you have to do here is click this link add photo and then browse through your your files to see if you have an appropriate um, photo to upload and the system actually allows you to edit the photo or at least to crop it within the system so if your photo isn't perfect um, right now um, you can crop it in the system but ideally the best thing to do is to select a professional looking JPEG file edit it yourself beforehand and then upload it from here so um, we're actually gonna go ahead and cancel out of that but if you were to go ahead and upload the video or excuse me your photo you would click browse and then the upload button so I'm going to click, go ahead and click cancel. Then the next thing um, I think is really important is to make sure that you create a relevant headline. And that's um, where it says, where we can click edit right here just to see how you'll want to input that. So we have student, first name, last name, LinkedIn. Then um, we'll just display the name this way then the professional headline should probably be something like um, for Masters of Accounting student at Southern Methodist University Cox School of Business. Let's go ahead and make that really specific. We'll say for now we'll just say MSA student at Southern Methodist University Cox School of Business. Ideally, the headline should be a combination of your degree and your objective. So it would once you know what type of opportunities you're planning to pursue, you could add that to the end of this. MSA, student at Southern Methodist University Cox School of Business, pursuing full-time opportunities and audit with public accounting firms. You probably want to keep it a little bit shorter than that because at some point there is a character limit. But ideally, your headline should really cover the objective as well as um, your degree. And then we're just going to leave the rest of this as is and we'll hit save changes. So we now have a headline. The next thing you'll want to do is to change your public profile. So right now, the way I'm going to edit it, ideally you want it to be something like, like this just with your name. So www.linkedin.com slash in slash Joy Schwartz or Joe underscore Smith. Um, for purposes of this one, we'll try to see if we can create just student LinkedIn and see if it works. Actually, we'll do student underscore LinkedIn. See if that works. 
If you have a very common name, you may have to add some numbers or some additional characters to the end. But as you can see from the your current URL is, this is really long link. Um, it's A, it's hard to remember, and B, it's going to be cumbersome to type and to view um, the hyperlink in your email signature or potentially in your resume header as well. So let's go ahead and actually while we're in here, let's look at this public profile view. I highly recommend making everything public. Um, I don't think there's any reason that you would need to minimize your profile at this point in time because you are most of you are active job seekers and I think it's important to keep everything out there. That's just my opinion. Um, you, it's your call to to handle that as you see fit. So we're going to click set address. Um, may only contain letters and numbers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we'll just let's see if we can just do student LinkedIn. Okay, there we go. So now we have an active URL. Um, what I recommend doing is actually copying this URL and including it in the email signature so that every time you send an email, it's very easy for a prospective employer or a networking contact to view it. And what you probably want to do is um, add some text before it to state something like, you know, find me on LinkedIn or please connect to me on LinkedIn and then include your URL. Okay, so we're going to save changes and move out of that and then we're going to go back into the view my profile and you can see that now you have um, or this individual has a much shorter LinkedIn URL and that's pretty much where you want to be so the next thing I want to focus on is the experience summary and so in order to do that again I want to go back to Robert Smith's profile to show you an example Okay, let's open his profile up. And then, as you can see from his summary, it states, I am a Master's of Science in Accounting student specializing in tax at Southern Methodist University's Cox School of Business. And I'll give you a minute to kind of read through the rest as I'm speaking. But ideally, you want to kind of explain, this should really be a, a condensed version of your elevator speech. Um, wh what you've done, in the, what you're doing right now, your present, what you're studying, your MSA, what you've done in the past, perhaps an internship or two, or maybe some relevant coursework you've completed, or any experience where you've had some transferable skills, even a class project. That should kind of cover the past part. And then the future is what you're thinking of doing next. And so, you know, where Robert says, after graduation in May 2011, I plan to sit and pass the CPA exam and begin full-time work as a tax professional. And then he goes into some specifics, which I think are very good, but not, ne not necessary. I think keeping this short and sweet so that an employer who views it knows exactly where you've come from and where you're going is the way to handle this. So, um, so please feel free to go back and reference um, Roberts as an example, and you'll also have it in a checklist that will be provided in your binder on, on your orientation day. And you can also feel free to add some specialties if there are some accounting software that you're familiar with or some special tools that you've used or even some foreign language experience. Feel free to put that in there as well. That's, that's really what that section is for. And those are keywords that employers can search on when, when viewing your profile.